Well, hello friends. Hello, icy evening. You all have been asking for a Mr. Travis Christmas wrapping video. So you are getting that in this video. I'm filming this we have had a list of things that we need to get just to like finish out our Christmas list I was three quarters of the way done several weeks ago and then but we had a big family event and so mama here I've been I have been doing any like what I got done early in December and even in November that's all that's gotten done so I made a list today of the things that we need like I don't have well I I did buy one thing for everybody's stocking and I did buy those Christmas jammies earlier in the month. Again, I just say, go me, good job, mama. But now there's just a list that you will see. So here's what I'm trying to say. Come into Walmart with me. We're gonna finish up my Christmas shopping list. We're gonna get food items for the Christmas Eve and Christmas day food that is going down at our house, stockings, all those things. And after we shop, we are spending all day tomorrow. Well, I'm not wrapping all day tomorrow, but Travis and his mom will be doing so much of the wrapping. They'll be getting all the wrapping done tomorrow. So stay tuned for that coming up in this video. Okay, I'm looking for inspiration for a few other folks. Good thing about waiting till the last minute for my stocking stuff. A lot of this is 25% off. Been looking for stocking stuffers here. You know, most years I like to go to Dollar Tree, but it's a Walmart kind of year. Well, happy Christmas, Adam. We are back. We got back from that Walmart shopping last night, actually. I have three freezer meals in my oven and an apple pie, so look at me, I meal prepped. So the shopping that we did last night helped us fill in some gaps, and now we're gonna pull these present piles together, get them wrapped. Not only am I bringing you Mr. Travis wrapping presents, I know you love it. Guess what? We have special guests you're gonna get talking grandma hands. Are you ready? Travis's mom is also here. This is where Mr. Travis learned all those wrapping skills. So you are gonna see Mr. No pressure, no pressure grandma. You're gonna have Mr. Travis wrapping. You're gonna have grandma wrapping. Okay, are you ready for this? It's going down in Christmas town here. I'm gonna show you, I don't even know what's happening over here in this pile though, so let's take a look at this. So here's what we got. We need a mom to organize all of this, okay? This I'll show you. So last night at Walmart, for instance, so Daniel and Amelia are each getting a very big Christmas present. It's one of those that comes in a small package but took a lot of their Christmas budget. Because of that, they had a few smaller things to open. Well, Amelia had a few smaller things to open, but as I got looking the other day, Daniel did not. And I think part of that is he's my kiddo that has a birthday the week before Christmas, and I have another one who has a birthday the week after Christmas. And so, going through the presents, I'm like, Daniel needs a few more Christmas presents in his pile. Got all that. So I got, I don't know, eight-year-old boys. I think he's gonna like this. It comes with 16 Nerf bullets. Also got him this three-in-one Lego creator set. So it's the tiger. And tell me what Australian zoo animal that is. <laughs> and then a fish. Oh, it's gonna be on here. Tell us. Oh, well, maybe it's just a fox, but it has the long tail. I know you're telling me through your TV. Okay. Um, Okay, so there's so many things, so many things. This I got, uh, well, like when we do different card games, Daniel, who's eight, and Benjamin, who's five, they always have trouble holding their cards. So I thought this is cute. This is going to go in stocking. So anyway, uh, I did, I guess a week ago, I tried to organize everybody's presents in trash bags. And here's our fill-in stuff. 
I don't know. It's going to all work out. Here we go. And then I did have, I had my 19 year old go around and label, label these bags with names. And then if there's just, you know, big holes that I'm missing, because I feel like I'm have some holes in life right now, uh, we've got cash. <laughs> so we're going to do the Christmas cash also. But here's Daniel's bag. All right. So here's his big ticket items. Now, I know you all will want to talk to me about video games and uh, it's like every family makes these choices for themselves, right? We don't have free like play video games all the time, but we will have like technology time. Like a lot of times at our house, at least in this season, we have technology Tuesday. And on Tuesday evenings, the kids get Nintendo Switch time. Uh, sometimes we'll throw in an extra time during the week. Sometimes we don't have it at all for a few weeks. But anyway, this is the big ticket item um, that they had both been wanting and there's some of the games for them. And then here's two other presents to go along with it. And that's it, that is Daniel's pile. So he's having a big thing in small packages Christmas. Alright, so Travis is getting ready to wrap Zion's stuff. We've got new pajamas for everyone that we will get actually tomorrow night on Christmas Eve, but I'm gonna have him wrap those. So this is dude stuff. Mama don't know nothing. Uh, Travis got him this nice craftsman set, right, Trav? Yes. Uh, then this push and pick screwdriver. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now fun mom stuff, I got him this little mini fridge. I know it only holds six kids, but how fun. And there's so much of these like my mini little products out at Walmart. And so this says, uh, it's a rice cooker, a steamer, a skillet, and a griddle all in one. And it's just precious and it just, I like it, it's happy. And then also a Dove extra fresh refreshing set and it's got shampoo conditioner body wash and some deodorant and then he's also gonna get some bucks so there you go Merry Christmas And here's all of Zion's presents wrapped. And then are these his, oh, his pajamas are over there. So we'll make a pajama stack. Okay, and then like I said, we'll also get some bucks. Do we just do a white envelope on the front of it maybe? Okay. Something like that. Something, we'll figure it out. All righty, and here's Daniel's stack. Okay, so here's my mom fail. This is Benjamin's stack. This is not a big stack. This will not make a five-year-old happy. So I'm already making my, okay, because you know, with a big kid, you can give them you can give them Benjamins, you can give them dollars, and they like doing their own shopping. But when you're five, you like opening a whole lot of presents. And so this is the Octonauts. Um, it's that tower. 
uh, what's it called? It's not the octopod. Anyway, it's the big orange tower thing with some of the figures. There's a little dinosaur, and then here's two of the Octonauts plushies. And then this is his Christmas Eve jammies, and we're going to do stockings too, but I'm going to have to run to Walmart and get him three or four additional things. We usually do a budget of about $300 or so per kid, depending on age. So anyway, Mama's head back out to Walmart. Goodness, thank goodness it's only three minutes away, but we'll have Grandma wrap these. Next up, we have all this Jeep merch. So this is Naomi's pile, and she gets a money envelope. So she recently got her first vehicle. Believe me, Travis is not upset about this because he has been learning all about Jeeps. She got a Jeep, yay, and she is in that, in that age bracket. So I thought, we can do Jeep merch for Christmas. So she's got a Jeep keychain. We got messy hair, don't care with a Jeep. We got some Jeep tees. Uh, these are some Jeep parts, right, Travis? Car parts. Car parts. I mean, that's what you want from your dad, right? Um, this is just a nice little handmade journal. And then this is some really pretty watercolor paper. It looks like fun. A book on the history of America's greatest vehicle money, jewelry that her dad picked out, and then art supplies that Travis also picked out. So now he's gonna wrap Naomi's pile. Oh, and I gotta get her uh, pajamas too. Also in my bag of tricks, this is a brush set, and then every girl needs a bath set. So this is a vanilla almond scented also. I was like, what kid is this for? I don't know, but it's so fun. I will say, we'll ignore the fact that corn syrup is the first ingredient. It's dairy-free, nut-free, fat-free, and gluten-free, right? So this is gonna go a one-pound giant gummy bear for the five-year-old. What could go wrong? It's going in his stack. What I am doing right now is I'm pulling together our other present piles and just seeing if I have any other holes before I make this late night Walmart run to fill in the obvious gaps that Benjamin stack has. All right, so this is my Gabriel stack. And so we have various journals, this um, pen set. I thought this doodler was cool. I also got one of these for Liam. It looked cool. These are the little sticks that go in there. This is supposed to be a nice mixed pencil set. Again, we have lots of artists here and it opens up and has many layers. I got all these on Amazon. I will try to be a good person and <laughs> link them for you. Um, this is a watercolor brush set. These are some sunglasses, cool guy sunglasses Travis got. He's got a multi-tool, some good earbuds. We got a, how do we say it, Trav? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> I also got him a t-shirt that says yeet and the yeet t-shirt if you know you know haha ha, um didn't come it's not here i haven't been able to find it yet so anyway this is gabriel's stack we also have pajamas and we'll have stocking stuff that we will be showing and then he also gets an envelope with some bucks to do his own shopping and i've been working on we have these bags from last night like i said they have a lot of stocking stuff in them but there's some other presents too. So I'm just kind of getting these out on the island now so I can start processing these things. Mm -hmm. 
so this is also this is a wallet Travis had got Gabriel I just found in the stocking stuffer so we'll add that to the present stack I've talked myself out of going to Walmart I'm just thinking well, as I look at everything that we're doing here, I could at least be doing stockings while they're wrapping. Um, tomorrow's Christmas Eve and Walmart is open, I think from six to six, and then they're closed on Christmas. So I'm gonna be one of those last minute Christmas Eve ladies that goes in and gets a few more things. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to be creative and make my bonus daughter like a little tea basket, is that a thing? So I got her a variety of different teas and honey and some new cup. This is what this is looking like. And this honey has some of the comb in it. We got two cups with some different teas. That was from a sample of tea set. And then I have some roasted dandelion leaf and some good teas there. And so this is a bath set for her. And then we have fuzzy socks, a notepad, one of these Better Home and Gardens fragrance warmer with some red berry and some sugar cookie and buttercream. And then this is a facial set, all these good pampering things. And then also these will be her Christmas Eve jammies. So we're gonna have grandma wrap these now. And then this is our grandbaby stack. So we've got the sit to stand learning walker and so it came with that frustration free packaging and uh, I don't see a picture of it, but it's a VTech thing. Then we've got the custom from Grammy and Grandpa Baby First Christmas ornament. And then last year I got the parents, the Mama Bear and Papa Bear slippers. So I got Baby Baby Bear slippers. Also got, this is little Christmas Eve jammies. We had also given them a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer cover and plushy but i ended up giving that to them early so this is the grandbaby stack what happens when you grow up and get a wife and have a kid your Christmas pile gets smaller where Travis is getting him some bucks too but anyway we got you said this is a real nice flashlight supposed to be, supposed to be? real nice flashlight he's a man he gets dude stuff bath set because that's what moms do oh look this and this even goes for Christmas Eve so anyway we'll have we'll make jokes about that but that's our Jaden pile and pajamas and Travis's cookie so then this is Liam's stack so let's see here I've now stacked it stacked it in a pile getting one of those cool speed punching bag things this same set so this was a Black Friday deal can't tell you what the price was but it looked like a nice set I'm gonna give them the joy of opening it but I got one for Gabriel for Liam and for Amelia for our queen artist because she has a ton of art supplies um, and that's Miss Naomi. But anyway, for the other kids, I was loading them up on art supplies. So he's got this and this, and then this is just a cool, he likes wacky things like this magnet set, some tools from his dad, some bucks from his dad, um, these same sketchbook set that you see going around, this same, just look really cool, 3D art kit. And then here's some extra of the sticks that go in that and some of these black pens and then I'll show you hold on this really cool wolf shirt and then also Christmas Eve pajamas and one of these cubes too and so coming down here this is flower not included but this is the beginning of the stocking stack uh, we could not find the stockings so I just picked up fresh stockings that were 25% off at Walmart. B 
biggest purchase for the stockings is I got everyone a really nice water bottle. I mean, water bottle sagas. I'll, I'll not put my water bottle sagas on the internet, haha. -ha, but I'm going to tell everyone to keep their designated water bottle basically on like their work desk. Don't bring them in the kitchen. Okay, that's all this tired mom can say. Keep your water bottle in your personal possessions because once it comes in the kitchen, we cannot handle the responsibility in here. If you want a good water bottle for like, you know, hiking and going out and all those various things. But I got this one for, let's see, Daniel, Benjamin, um, Amelia was with me when I got these the other day and she already took her water bottle because she had something she needed to uh, take it on. And then we'll just say this is like Naomi and Zion. And then this is my oldest son, Jaden, and then his wife. Um, and they'll be taking theirs home. So there you go. Am I missing anybody? I feel like this is not enough. This is six, and Amelia has hers. And I didn't get one for Tobin. Am I missing a kid? Dan Let me do it in age order. Benjamin, Daniel. Amelia's is missing. Tobin doesn't get one. Oh, you know what? Nope. I must not have gotten one for Jaden and his wife. I totally forgot about Gabriel and Liam. Okay, Gabriel, Liam. We'll give Naomi the blue one. Naomi, Zion. If you don't live here, you don't get a water bottle. You get your own water bottle. Okay, now, now I'm with it. No wonder I felt like there was a gap. So here's all the stockings in a pile. Here's how the table is filling with presents. The way down. And then I just laid out Miss Amelia's pile. Oh, and also when I was going through her stuff, I found these other shirts from my boys. So I got Gabriel's Yeet shirt <laughs> and Liam's in my defense. I was left unsupervised, so those get added to their stacks. And then over here, so she's got a long sleeve shirt with a horse that says love and then this cute bandana horse shirt and then just a girl who loves horses shirt same big present as daniel two games carrying case and now all the kids except for the two youngest have switches so they can do their fun things together um pencil set same art set that i've been doing for all of them um, she got this wooden stamp set for horses and just a horse sticker book. Those are some smaller items. There's some pajamas. And then this kitty shirt I found at Walmart last night. How could I not? I think the hardest thing is going to be for her to actually take it off and stop wearing it. Travis picked that cross up for her. And then I had ordered her. This is a little girl and her horse on a little, it's a little locket that opens up too. So this is the Amelia present pile. So here's our 
table. Oh, Travis is putting a few more on there. Ignore the napkin baskets, but we've got some a little bit more shopping to do tomorrow on Christmas Eve. Did I tell you I decided to not go tonight? I think I did say that. Okay, but anyway, all the way down here, and we're going to get these out now and make our stacks by the tree. And there's our, our sparkling cider for Christmas Eve and all the stockings. Well, Merry Christmas Eve. This is the mom's, let's see, I probably gotta turn my fan down here for you. It's 16 degrees out and it feels like 13. It's like for real winter all up in Virginia now. Anyway, this is mom's mad Christmas Eve dash back to the Walmart to get the extra little list of items that I've come up with that are needed. Priority is getting Benjamin several more things. Poor kid, he fell through the cracks but he won't know until he watches this vlog when he's like 57, right? And I feel like I have to say again, I had every intention of shopping for him. I just wasn't able to do the things on my list for a few weeks here because of stuff, right? Stuff and things. Anyway, gonna get him some goodies. And I was able to get a list from him this morning um, with things such as, there's a plastic animal set he wants, the barn animals. There's some little Lego set, I wrote this down, that has a baby line and a grown-up line and a snake. Transformers, he likes Optimus Prime and Ravage. The Jurassic World Lego set with the boat that Daniel has, that's exactly how Benjamin worded it. Minecraft Legos, you know, just, I got, got, got a good little meaty list here. And actually Travis told me to look for the RC car. Okay, and then I wanted to get, like the stockings are pretty well packed. I wanted to get some more random candy and any other like silly stuff to throw in there. I didn't make it to the Dollar Tree, so we'll just see what Walmart has, what else is on my list. Um, Tobin, I didn't show you yet his two big presents. He really is loving books right now, and so I wanted to see if there's like any construction or truck type toddler books. Um, okay, yes, the list. Oh, we need some antifreeze. <laughs> so Travis added some things to my list. So let's Merry Christmas Eve into Walmart now. And I have the, the I'm gonna sweatshirt in full force. No one else, yeah, thank you, honey. We just sold that in. No one else in Walmart will know what we're, what we're I'm gonna about, but I know, I know. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, gonna do, shop. I'm gonna shop. That's what Amelia says. I'm gonna, we're doing it. But I will say, Mom probably should have wore a jacket along with. I'm gonna is pretty toasty, but feels like 13 degrees is pretty serious. So I got some ho hoagie rolls the other night. I'm getting some more because we're having even more people coming on Christmas and we're doing uh, meatball subs. And then I also got just some extra, extra goodies to add in. Those baby donuts are just for fun. Okay, there you go. Okay, we're making a dent in it. Also got this for the grandbaby. Okay, these little animal sets they love. And he wanted the farm one. They don't have any. Yeah, I don't see any more farm ones. Okay, got lots of safari. They've got a lot of these. Okay, here's a little farm bucket. Not the one he was thinking of, but still farm. Here's another little farm set. And we're visiting all the kitchen items. All right, so Mama, last minute Christmas Eve day activated. That's actually, we've got a birthday the week after Christmas, so that's one of his birthday things. Okay, back home, back home to deliver this all. All right, so here's my last minute Christmas Eve haul. Okay, okay, so I got all the plushies. They were so cute and they were like, where were they? 3.44 and then they were 25% off. And I'm like, okay, we've cleared out plushies so many times in life, everyone can get a plushie this year. Got some more stocking candy because I, I think I can fit a little more candy in there, so yay. Two little cars for um, Tobin's stocking, and then people I wasn't shopping for, but watch me shop. <laughs> um, Daniel and Benjamin have just been really, really into Octonauts, and Daniel got 
I don't know, one of the ships for his birthday. They really wanted all the individual characters. So I got one for Benjamin and I also got one for Daniel. And I got Daniel this bow for outside. Um, Gabriel and Liam have had these and they're just a lot of fun and he likes Nerf and all those things. So we're adding those to his stack. Then for the grandbaby, I got this for the stocking. This is just another grandbaby present. Just trying to think of things that, you know, they'll need in the coming year. I highly recommend this. This is so fun. We should send one to Becky over on Acre Homestead because her baby would love this too. Also got my son and my bonus daughter each a nice water bottle for their stockings. Uh, we got two more Switch games for Liam, Gabriel. We also have this thing that's going in some direction here and then we have benjamin's christmas haul so things like this kinetic sand especially with young kids i just feel like you know what this is gonna make for a really fun like for one maybe two <laughs> really fun play times and it's just gonna be gone and the sand's gonna be gone and i'm gonna have them do it outside on the back deck and it's gonna be a ton of fun and then it'll be done and that's okay. Uh, then Lego wise, we got this Jurassic Park set, this three in one set with um, the octopus and it looks like it changes maybe into a manta ray and a lobster. And then also this Jurassic Park set, our sea car, the farm animals, aquanauts, some little Play-Doh things and mouse trap. And then he also had three things that were already wrapped. So Merry Christmas, Benjamin. Okay, so these are going out to the Daniel Pile edition. And one year, this, uh, well, one year next year, this will all be part of the new big living room and there will be couches here and all things opened up. We had to move the tree out of our current living room because we don't have enough room for everyone to sit and watch a movie together and be able to see through the tree in front of the big window. So again, it's a house and renovation, but let's see here. We've got, yeah, Tobin's, that's his um, Paw Patrol ride on car. And then this is another little car. Okay, here's Daniel's pile. So we are adding to that. And uh, okay, I saw some things fall. This is another little Tobin thing. Needs to go there. I think that's his little Rudolph. Christmas Eve this is our grand finale here with all the stockings I think 9 10 11 stockings this year and pajamas I'm getting ready to make our big super mega 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 mama cooking Christmas Eve breakfast for dinner but this is what's on this end of the table we still have room to eat for the rest of the table and then coming out here the final the final stacks, Travis really wanted me to show you his wrapping on the big trucks, okay? Uh, added more, we added grandmother and grandma stack there. So this is the full Stewart family, super mega Christmas tree, Christmas present pile for 2022. So thank you all so much for surviving Walmart twice with me and supervising. We were official wrapping supervisors, even though I didn't do any wrapping. We did those stockings. We did the hard work. We did the shopping. It is so nice to have two expert level wrappers. We were up to almost 1 a.m. last night getting all that done. Finished up today. Merry Christmas. We're doing it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and for doing all this wrapping for 2022. And I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye.